Okay, so I'm trying the traditional animal now, the Mitsun, with some uh, chutney. It's the greenest place of India, but also the craziest roads of India. You might go see. There is a swimming pool there. <laughs> So I got my traditional traditional rice beer here in the bamboo mark. Okay. It's actually hot, you can see the smoke. It smells like the Assamese rice beer, but it's hot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try it for the first time now. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Still Domi, still German. And right now with my friend Sabin. Yeah. And uh, I welcome to Arunachal. Not Assam anymore, Arunachal. And today after our chai, we're gonna show you a uh, Ganga Lake. And in the evening comes the important part because we're going to show you how the traditional cooking takes place. We actually plan to do this in nature, but the thing is, if you look here, it's, it's like it's raining all the time. So we're gonna we're gonna do it again on a different day in nature and uh, show you the nature too. But yeah, that's the plan for today. So see you once we're on the motorbike and at the lake. Let's go. On our way to the lake. Yeah. So is the, lake yeah. the best roads of India. Oh man. This is the road to Ganga Lake. And the road is very old because of uh, but uh, this road is under construction right now. So I think we'll have a good road after one year. The greenest place of India, but also the craziest roads of India. You might go see. There is a swimming pool there. <laughs> this is a swimming pool. You can swim here. Yeah. Finally swimming. <laughs> and some people even they they make a troll like uh, they fish in the pond in between the road. Here probably was some uh, landslide, I guess. If, if we survive this, let's go. So guys, as you can see, we didn't make it. <laughs> we need a short break. We're a bit wet now. Uh, yeah, it's raining a lot here. And the street is like a waterfall. And yeah, we hope that it will end at some point, but look at this. So much rain, so much nature. See you guys once the rain stops. Okay, so guys, we arrived. Here's the entrance to Ganga Lake and you can see on the sign up there the traditional animal, the hornbill and the, what's the cow name again? Mitun. Mitun. It's the same as in Nagaland, yeah. but people told me here it was first, so the Naga people stole it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna go and explore there now and make it quick because this video is also about showing you the food and we still have to go to a market after this and prepare the food, so. See you at the lake, let's go. We now entered and behind me you can see there is the big lake 
And uh, I hear that it's a mysterious lake because there have been like uh, mysterious deaths and nobody knows why. And also nobody knows where this lake comes from because there's no like water source here. And also actually we are high on a mountain. So this is not like a valley or something, this is actually on, on top of a mountain. It's quite big. You can take a boat back there but it's, it's a bit rainy for this. And yeah. Also let me tell you uh, about Arunachar. I think Arunachar means the place of the rising sun, yeah. <coughs> it's similar to Japan, it means the same. Because here is actually the first sunrise of India. If you look on a map we are like, it's the most eastern place you can go to in India. So to my Vietnam viewers, you are like five times closer <laughs> than my Mumbai viewers. Yeah. Like, I think from here to Mumbai is like 4,000 kilometers or something. It's very far. And yeah, it's so far the greenest place I've ever seen in my life. Like, I, I said this about Assam's nature too, but here, here it's even, it's on another level. And yeah, also my friends told me there are many earthquakes here. Yeah, if you, if you go north, there's also like Himalaya. Is it still called Himalaya here or is it a different name? It's different now. Oh. And it's also, I think, the place in India with the most landslides <laughs> and the most uh, potholes in the streets. <laughs> like, even while we were waiting for the rain to stop, seen some tiny landslides far away. So Maria, uh, you, to the lake. you can see around me, it's very green. A lot of. Uh, Insects also. Also insects here are a bit bigger, like the butterflies and everything I've seen. They're very big compared to German sized ones. Do people swim in here? No. No? Swimming is not allowed. Everywhere I go in India and there's a lake or something, I ask, do people swim? People are always like, no, no swimming here. But yeah guys, I, I'm not gonna make this a 40 minute video, we're gonna enjoy the lake and we're gonna see you when we get, get to the food, to the title of the video. Wow, be excited for more content from here to come. Getting the Arunachal rice beer. Is yeah. it this? This is the uh, rice beer that is locally made. Local oil. <laughs> yeah, we will take a look at it at home. Yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, now we're gonna go and get the other ingredients we need. And as I told, we're gonna cook in bamboo. Normally it's done outside, but because of the rain, we do it inside. And next time outside. So let's continue and get ingredients. Let's go. So uh, next stop, we're getting the firewood. But it's again heavy raining. So I'm recording, yeah, yeah. recording from my phone. Yeah. Firewood and. Uh, what else we gonna get? Uh, we gonna buy this, uh, these things. Uh, what is there this? Is a, there is a heart of banana. Oh, oh, I know this. I, I uh, had it in uh, Assam. I think it's here. So we are buying some local stuff like uh, banana heart and uh, mushroom, mushroom. I'm here. In the mushrooms? Yeah, in the mushrooms. Yeah. And I guess we're gonna also get rice. Yeah. Rice, uh, rice we get. What else? Like fish or pork or uh, what is gonna be? Today, like we're gonna cook fish. Okay, fish. We're gonna cook fish. 
So banana heart, mushroom, fish, rice. Some vegetables here. And yeah. It's very loud and rainy, so I guess I'm gonna see you back at home. This is the lips, local lips. This is the fish that I'm gonna buy. And eat. So guys, we're back. We brought all the ingredients. We started the fire. And right now we are cutting the big bamboo into pieces and yeah I'm gonna show you all the ingredients and then we're gonna show you how we cook before we go into the food here inside we have the rice beer and it also has some leaves inside yeah 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 and uh, it's very different from Assamese rice beer I yes. think yeah and so you told me the the leaf I just take it and I suck yeah you just suck the liquid from it okay Swallow a bit and then suck it. I just taste the rice beer. The leaf is very like hairy. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. This is called a local, uh, local rice. This is called in Nishi Pone. Uh, the rice is made from the zoom cultivation, and this is very good for. Uh, what's for for what's the leaf? Uh, this is the leaves that we just uh, make the uh, rice beer and then we put it here so that. It gets uh, it gets ready uh, speedily. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, so. So we are again uh, in the. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna prepare the food now. And we're gonna make the food in here in the big bamboo and in the fire. So. Let me show you all the ingredients we bought. Let's go. I'm excited. I'm hungry. Here we have... This here we have... Fish. Fish, yes. A raw fish from the market. And this fish, it doesn't have bones. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's, that's what I prefer. It's a bone-free fish. This we have... Asum! Leaves, we call it upu. Upu? Okam, okam, we call it okam leaves in Nishi. And this is. Used for like cooking on it, like yeah. plates? We use for it uh, cooking plates and we use this for everything. We have uh, this. The banana tart thing. This. Mushroom. Yes. We have some leaves, Chinese cabbage, this is called Chinese cabbage in English, we have bamboo, this, and some tomatoes, from the market, that's it. Okay. Now all the food will be like washed and prepared and cut and stuff. And also I got told we don't use any masala, no spices. It's all just as it is. And uh, yeah, once it's like cut and stuff, I'm gonna show you how it's mixed and how we put it in the bamboo. I think then we're gonna try the rice beer. I don't, I'm not sure about the order. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Cut like this. And just peel it, peel it from here. Like the long. Like this. 
Oh, so it has okay. skin to remove or like? No, no, no. Oh, you just make it in pieces? Yes. The skins are already removed from when it was prepared. And wh why is it so soft? Because uh, uh, this, when it was plucked from the road, oh, from the trees, uh, it was, uh, they just let it be like decayed or fermented so that this will get the taste in a fully manner. This is this is the bamboo. So uh, now we are just putting the rice in the bamboo. Yes. Okay. So we're just trying to find out how to how to get it in the bamboo. Okay. So this is the rice. And these leaves we use as uh, we use this as a uh, aluminum foil. Now so we, we just we don't put the rice in the bamboo. No, no, we we'll put. But before that, oh, okay, we okay. just do one round like this. There's like a, a rice dosa. Yeah, and for this, rice rice burrito. And this is the step. I hope you guys can see because it's a bit dark here. We only have a small light. In the background, there's the fish and the mushrooms and the stuff is mixed. Now we add water. So it's going to be bamboo steamed rice, that's why the water. That would be nice. Now I pour water. And now we just put the bamboo on now the fire. You can see this. This bamboo is on fire. Yeah, this, this is the fish, yeah, this the bamboo fish. shoot, now, now we have to mix this everything. And it also goes into bamboo? Yeah, everything, all the thing here goes to bamboo. Here you, we have to marinate it very properly so that the taste of everything Second bamboo, bamboo gets fed now with the fish. It all, it all goes into one bamboo. Yeah, it goes oh, this much, this much. So second bamboo will be fed. First one is already cooking. And I'm excited for this one. Also, I want to find out how the <coughs> rice tastes when it's made from bamboo. So many Again, again, some water gets added. And then the rest of it. But yeah, video is getting very long. And now so. we have to seal. seal it with the leaf, with oh. the vegetable leaves. Oh, so this is like the natural seal. Uh, and then, and then fish again, or yeah, yeah again fish. Oh, okay. So this is ready. Also, fish goes in the next bamboo. Yeah, next bamboo. Okay. So, so not all the fish in one bamboo. We put it in the second one. Because I was already wondering if you make it full, the top won't be cooked and the bottom will be. So take the next bamboo. It's all wet bamboo, fresh one. So uh, see you again. Once this is once it's once it's cooked. This is Nisi tribe style. Nisi tribe style. Maybe maybe I think while it's cooking, then we can try the rice beer. Yeah, yeah. Why are we waiting? Okay, perfect. Then see you at the rice beer. Olden days where This is our 
This is the bear rice. Now see, see the steps. Rice bear. Now see the step. How the uh, liquid and the solid gets separated. So you drink it warm. Yes. Here. You will taste okay. This okay, one is okay. lock, lock. This is our local jug. From what is it made? This is uh, this is kind of vegetable oh. fibers. So I got my traditional traditional rice beer here in the bamboo mug. Okay. It's actually hot. You can see the smoke. It smells like the Assamese rice beer, but it's hot, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try it for the first time now. Oh wow, that's nice. It doesn't taste so strong, but it reminds me of Germany because in Germany we also drink hot wine in winter. Oh, but this is good. I think it's good when you have a cold or something. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna enjoy our rice beer then? Yes. And see you once the food is done and hopefully not too drunk by then. So let's go. Okay, so I'm trying the traditional animal now, the Michun, with some uh, chutney. And the other stuff is also soon ready. So. It's nice. Tastes a bit like beef, but also a bit different. Yeah. Also, chutney is spicy. <laughs> Reminds me of Nagaland. The chutney is from tomatoes and chilies. But yeah, it's nice. <clears throat> I'm gonna finish it. Video is already very long. We'll see you once the bamboo is done. So guys, the food is ready, that's the fish <laughs> and the uh, other stuff, the rice is still there and uh, let me see what I try first, I think some of the fish, it's very hot, yeah, mm, but very soft, very very soft. It actually tastes like chicken. Yeah. But you taste a bit of like fishiness. What else we have? The bamboo shoot. Also very nice. Let me try some fish with the chutney. Nice food. Nice food. I'm excited so, for the rice okay. because I want to know how the rice tastes. Yeah. Oh, chutney is spicy. Okay. I want to know how the rice tastes in the bamboo. So, uh, see you once the rice comes. Okay. This is the bamboo rice. Oh, it's still very hot. Yeah. This, I said you, this works like uh, aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. Yeah. Okay, so guys, the rice is now also done. We got everything out of the bamboo. And uh, let me first smell it. it smells like normal rice. Like it doesn't smell any different from the normal rice. Yeah. It tastes exactly like normal rice. Like I expected it to taste like bamboo or something. But it tastes like normal rice. So, Food was fine. Video was probably way too long. You guys know the drill. Like, subscribe, Don't comment. Hey yo, this is me. If you wanna get there, you come to me.
Yeah, if you want a tattoo, I would put his uh, tattoo shop in the uh, skin the deep. Skin deep. Skin deep. Where are the contact? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See you in the next video.